This series revolves around Firehouse 51 of the Chicago Fire Department, led by Wallace Bowden. Its members include Matthew Casey, Kelly Severide, Joe Cruz, Herman, Otis, and several others, with Gabriella Dawson and Leslie Shea working as paramedics. Peter Mills joins the department as a newbie. The first episode starts with tragedy as Andy Darden loses his life during a firehouse mission. Following Andy's death, Casey considers retiring from his job and finds himself in conflict with Severide over the loss. However, they are forced to settle their differences when their colleague, Christopher Herman, is at risk of losing his life after another tragic accident. Severide struggles with an ongoing shoulder injury as he attempts to save a construction worker in a collapsed building. Still consumed with guilt over Darden's death, Kelly discovers that Darden's widow, Heather, also blames him for the tragedy. Meanwhile, Casey experiences troubles with his girlfriend Hallie, who is a doctor. Herman returns from the hospital without serious injuries. Despite Kelly's shoulder injury, he secretly takes strong medications from Leslie. In the next episode, Casey works on an accident involving a young man injured by a drunk and reckless driver, who turns out to be the son of Hank Voigt from the Chicago Police Department. Watch my Chicago PD recap for more details. Even the Antonio Dawson who is an officer in Chicago Police who is also the brother of Gabriella in a mission against Voigt, Voigt threatens Casey to remove a report he published against his son, Justin, but Casey rejects it. This leads to Voigt becoming an enemy of Casey, as Voigt follows Casey, Casey openly threatens Voigt inside the Chicago Police Department. Few days later, the police come to Casey's apartment with a search warrant for cocaine. At this moment, Hallie identifies cocaine hidden beneath a table. They instantly realize that it is a trap set by Voigt. So, they misguide the police with the help of Antonio. Enraged, Casey attacks Voigt, but Voigt still favors releasing his son. After the fire department helps a man entangled in a building fire, the man presents himself to Casey to work against Voigt. They set up a trap against Voigt, creating a scene where Voigt gives the man a bribe to kill Casey, at which moment Antonio arrests Voigt. Meanwhile, Gabriella Dawson faces disciplinary action after attempting to save a girl by performing a risky procedure in the field. Chief Bowden is accused of leaving a homeless man to die in a warehouse fire after ordering his men to evacuate the scene, leading to negative press and bad feelings within the department. In the next scene, everyone in the firehouse is ordered to take a drug test after a call to a daycare center exposes them to a makeshift meth lab. Severide stalls, not wanting the painkillers he takes for his injury to be discovered. But Leslie provides a urine sample for him, resulting in everyone's test coming back negative. Casey delivers a baby in the middle of a vehicle pileup, prompting him to talk to Hallie about their future. However, Hallie isn't interested in babies, which makes Casey feel bad, so he takes a break from their relationship. After discovering a little girl torn apart in a train accident, Mills questions his future as a firefighter. But Casey confronts him to stay by showing Mills his previous save of a girl from a fire. Meanwhile, the team gets a call about a fire and rushes towards it. After his lungs are damaged in an auto machine shop fire, Jose Vargas is forced to go on disability and leave his life as a firefighter behind, a task he finds incredibly difficult. Later, he tries to commit suicide, but Casey and Severide prevent it. Meanwhile, Cruz tries to save his younger brother Leon from the gang he is involved with. He openly engages in conflicts with the gang leader, Flacco, who forcefully keeps Leon within the gang. The firehouse receives a call about a house fire in North Hamlin, so they rush towards it. However, upon arrival, they face gunshots. Joe instantly suspects his brother might be inside and bravely rushes towards the scene. He approaches a victim, suspecting whether his brother is involved, but realizes the victim is none other than Flacco, the gang leader. With a sense of doubt, he lets Flacco burn. Later, Feeling regretful and depressed about his actions, Joe calls Casey to reveal everything. However, 
As Casey is in prison visiting his mother, the call doesn't reach him. At this moment, an ambulance carrying Shay and Dawson gets hit by a truck. Dawson is somehow saved with minor injuries, but Shay is critically injured. As time passes, Shay eventually heals, rejecting to supply drugs to Severide for his shoulder injury. Severide openly admits his injury to Bowden and prepares for surgery. Reen, the girl Kelly is dating, is about to leave Chicago for her work. Joe tries to tell the truth to Casey, but Casey doesn't want to involve the police further. Finally, Joe and Leon are reunited, and Joe returns to work. Dawson starts dating Peter Mills, Severide first thought of moving to Madrid with Reen. But after meeting his father, he changed his mind to stay in Chicago. He underwent an experimental risky surgery successfully and returned to the unit. Clarice, who is Shay's former lesbian partner, came back to Shay after becoming pregnant. She gave birth to a baby boy. But they both faced a lawsuit from Clarice's former husband to gain full custody of the baby. Our girls offered a 50-50 custody agreement, but Daniel insisted on full custody. Unfortunately, Clarice agreed and broke up with Shay for the second time. After spending severely depressed weeks, she thought about having a baby using artificial insemination. After a thorough search for sperm donors on the internet, she decided Severide was the best sperm donor, and he agreed to donate. Meanwhile, Casey's mother was granted parole after spending 15 years in jail for killing her husband. Meanwhile, a bad batch of heroin hit the streets, causing Bowden and the team to scramble while Dawson's detective brother, Antonio, was determined to stop it at any cost. The gang shot Antonio in Gabriella's presence, so she rushed him to the hospital. Without any other options, Gabriella met Voight, who was currently in prison. He suggested she meet a guy named T.T., so she did. Unfortunately, she was thrown out of the apartment of T.T. The next day, a representative of T.T. came to Dawson and revealed everything about the gang. Unfortunately, Joe Cruz hadn't fully recovered from what he had done to Flacco. He tried to self-harm sometimes. During a building fire situation, without caring about chief orders, Joe rushed into a building to save a dog. Mouch, Casey, and several others rushed inside and saved Joe and themselves from a near-death situation. They became angry with Joe, especially Mouch, who wanted Joe out of the squad. So Casey blamed Joe and gave him two options, either leave the department or go to prison over Flaco's case. Joe decided to leave and handed over his badge to Casey. Mouch watched this and asked Joe what had happened. So Joe told him everything. After hearing the truth, Mouch stopped Casey from removing Cruz's badge. Another day, Casey found themselves in a near-death situation, but Joe bravely managed to save Casey somehow. Old emotional wounds were opened when Lieutenant Severide's father, Benny, came to the firehouse. From the start, conflicts between Benny and Bowden over Peter's father, Henry, and his death were evident. During a department party, Bowden and Benny Severide argued outside the ballroom over Henry Mills's death, unaware that Dawson happened to be nearby and overheard that Bowden and Henry's wife had an affair that prompted Henry's reckless actions at the fire that killed him. With tension still running high between Chief Bowden and Benny Severide, things boiled over when Mills confronted Benny about the fire that killed his father. Benny replied that Henry willingly removed his oxygen mask, which caused his and another firefighter's death. So Benny revealed that Peter's father didn't die a hero. Peter got angry and punched Benny in the face. Days later, Dawson revealed the truth to Peter. Fed up with everything, Peter broke up with Dawson and left CFD to become a cop. Meanwhile, Hallie returned from South America, and Casey started dating her again. Hank Voigt also got released from prison, which disappointed Casey and Hallie. Days later, the firehouse received a call about a fire at Hallie's clinic. Unfortunately, Casey and the crew were too late to save her. An autopsy revealed she was killed just before the fire started. Unfortunately, 
Casey had to work with Voight as he was the head of the intelligence unit. But Casey, and even Antonio, suspected him of his actions. In the last episode, when a call came in from Cook County Jail, the squad stepped into a volatile predicament and was tasked with trying to defuse an escalating situation involving violence and fire. Prisoners took Herman hostage while his wife was about to give birth at the hospital. Finally, they managed to control the situation, and the episode ended with Dawson consoling Casey over the loss of Hallie. Thank you for watching, stay tuned.